novel of the year winner, Mary Costello. Mary, an overnight sensation after how many years of writing? 20. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the significance of winning this award tonight for your debut novel. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled. I was, I was surprised. Um, it is, it is a big honour, and I was, I felt, you know, the, 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 the other five writers were really, really very, very um, prestigious writers. So I was thrilled to be on that shortlist alone. So I would have been happy to be just shortlisted, but it is an extra bonus to win. It means a lot. Now, you were shortlisted earlier in the week for the Costa Book Award. We heard tonight that a previous award that you'd won, the Guardian First Award, has gone to another Irish writer, Colin Barrett. What do awards mean to you? What kind of confidence do they give writers? Um, I suppose, you know, they, they disturb your balance for a few days um, or your equilibrium a little bit. But I think that I hope certainly that um, in the dark days when I do hit those blanks and those walls in the win middle of winter, I, you know, they will give me a little boost. I think they probably will fortify me in some way. Um, just it's an affirmation that the writing is worth something, you know. So you just sort of rub it gently. <laughs> the magic genie in the lamp. Before. Is this your first award? This is my first one, yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Academy Street then, because critics are clearly raving about it. It's certainly making an impact. But tell us about the story of Academy Street. Um, I had the, the seed of the, the novel comes from a short story in my collection, The China Factory. And in that story, a little girl's mother had lived in a big house called Easterfield. So Tess, the novel opens in Easterfield, a big house in the west of Ireland, and Tess, the seven-year-old girl, has just lost her mother. So the early part of the novel is about the rupture in the child's life due to the death of the mother. And then <coughs> she uh, grows up, trains as a nurse, and moves to America and <coughs> lives out the rest of her life in America. She's quite a, both as a child and as an adult, she's quite a sensitive, hyper-alert, introverted sort of person. Um, and it's, I suppose, about her inner life as much as her outer life and about how she navigates the outer world. How has it been for you as a writer then, evolving from short stories into the full-length novel form? In the everyday um, writing of the novel, it didn't feel that different. The writing process is similar in the sense that you're there with your characters and you're doing the best, putting down the best words in the best order as you can it's still terrible and you have to go back and over and over and <laughs> over it um, and the only thing that propels you along in both cases stories and novels is your loyalty to the character i for me th my only um my only task really is to get the character out as well as i see her um, there is a longer um the novel is a more patient form mm. Um, it goes on for longer, but on the other hand, the short story, you, and, but you have to keep it in the air as well. People say you have to keep the short story in the air, and you do for 20 pages maybe. The novel might go on for two or three hundred, so it is, it is a big challenge too. Why do you think readers are enjoying Tess so much? Um, I think, I don't know, I suppose it's hard for me to say that, but I think because she's a very ordinary, unremarkable person, um, but she lives as honestly as she can. Um, and she shows her fears and her vulnerabilities. And she is probably like the rest of us, just putting one foot in the front of the other and plowing on no matter what life serves her. Well, a huge congratulations to you on winning this first award, first of many, I suspect, more goon is needed maybe over the next few months. But thank you so much for calling into our green room this evening. Merry thank Costello, you, ladies and gentlemen.